Hello, my loves. <laughs> I like doing that now. Today is number four. I lost count. It's, uh, what was this? Christmas cookie. Christmas snowflake cookie. Um, let me tell you, this is the fourth time. I had a different design in mind with a snowflake as I put in the community section. I tried to do a different way of doing a snowflake. Anyway, it failed. I spent hours trying and couldn't make it do what I wanted so I changed the design so I'm going in with glam and glitz made in sweet I'm going in drier than I would usually work with it and I'm just nudging it up towards the cuticle because I'm going to build the entire nail with this stunning color you will see sometimes little specks of pigment that are a darker pink just brush over them with a wet brush and that will blend in nicely Sorry if you can hear my tumble dryer in the background. So I'm just applying some more and I'm working wetter with this bead. Glam and Glitz um, is incredibly pigmented, so sometimes a little bit sticky, but it's fine. Just keep your brush nice and clean. Pay attention to the brush because it will clog otherwise. So I'm just checking the shape of my nail there, tidying up the sides and the free edge there. And I can see a little dip in the middle, so I'm adding another bead and blending it back. And that's what I do like. You can just add more beads and blend it in with this system. It's pretty easy. So I'm just working nice and wet, keeping my brush clean. So yeah, just don't worry if it looks like this, by the way, it's fine. You just damp your brush down and run it back over. It's just because it's pigmented, so it's quite sticky. But a nice wet brush and it just all blends back in. You can see one of those little spots of pigment there. Just brush it in. It's okay. Right, so I'm just going to quickly show you my filing. So I'm doing side wall, side wall. And then I'm shaping the tip. And then I go around the cuticle area. And then I go from cuticle right down to the tip, going up and over the body of the nail. Um, I used one size bigger than I would normally use with the tips in the Flexi Finger. So that's the top tip from Flexi Finger Direct. Uh, they said to me try using a size bigger than you need and that's what I did and it allows me to hand file a lot easier I don't get it slipping I don't get any problems whatsoever so I'm just filing oh sorry my phone is on noisy I'm turning that onto silent okay and then after I filed the body of the nail I go back over the shape as well just to crisp it up because I don't know I've lost any then I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol on my nail brush to get rid of all the dust from the finger as well. We're going in with a tack free top coat. And then I will show you what, because originally I was going to do a snowflake design, but a different way. And my different way, I still haven't perfected. Whether I ever will, I do not know. So, we're going to use some of this spider gel from Glitterati Nails and I'm going to do like a random zigzaggy kind of, you know when you ice cookies and you kind of go over it with the icing and do it like random little patterns, that's basically what I'm doing. So the pink nail represents the pink candle which is the cookie smell and then this would be the beautiful icing on top that's like all sparkly and magical and Christmassy. And then obviously it wouldn't be a Christmas nail if I didn't add some bling because it's just not blingy enough. So I'm going to go in with some opal crystals in mixed sizes from Smiley's Glitter Store, which I'll leave the link below for. I'm just buffing the top there because I had applied top coat and they will stick, it just takes longer. And after my escapade with trying the snowflake duvery, what's it, I, um, I needed to get these done. So I'm just going to apply a range of sizes. I don't know what the sizes are because it's just one pot with all mixed in, but they're absolutely beautiful, really stunning. I go down in size and then I add a few small ones and a couple of other bits and bobs.
I'm then going to go in, pop a little bit of glue down there and place a couple of beads, these caviar beads from Glitter Planet UK. I love these, I don't know how I ever coped without them. I know you can get them from lots of different places, um, I just don't know how I uh, ever coped without them because they really do change design so much. Something so small has such an effect and I'm really happy with that. And then I'll go back in with a bit more top coat because I have buffed it. And then once I've done that there is just a short video at the end that shows the finished design and that's that. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you tomorrow. Oh and I've got a brand new acrylic system to show you and I bet it's not the one you're thinking it is. It's very special. See you soon. Bye! Thank you.